class and today we are going to begin our new topic forms of matter but before going to the topic we must know what is matter okay children when we see around us we see many things are there the mountains the rocks the plants and trees the animals buses and cars table and chair pen pencil sharpener etc etc so the list is very long but these things can be divided into two categories and what are those two categories yes the man made things and the natural things okay all these things are different from each other but something is common in them do you know what is common in them yes they occupy space and has some mass all the things which are present on this earth occupy space and has some mass and all of these things are made up of matter okay students so what is matter if we define matter we can say anything which occupies space and has some mass is matter but we can make it more simple as anything which we can see we feel we smell or we can touch all these things are matter okay students so stone is a matter this pen is a matter water is a matter and also air is a matter yes as you see we can feel the moving air but now in this video we are going to discuss about the forms of matter so you must have noticed when we see anything our mind automatically says that this is solid this is liquid and this is gas yes so these are the three states of matter that are present on this earth or we can say each or uh, all the matters are present only in these three forms either they are solid either they are liquid or they are gaseous state okay and today we are going to compare these three forms of states solids liquids and gases on the basis of their properties okay and what are these properties the first one is their shape and volume the second one is compressibility and the third one is either they flow or not okay so these three uh, properties we are going to discuss in this video with some activities so let's get started so students we are going to discuss about the solids liquids and gases on the basis of their properties like shape volume compressible or not can flow or not okay let us go through some examples this is a wooden block and it is an example of solid okay so students it has a fixed shape you can see it is a rectangular block okay and its volume is also fixed yes first of all shape if i keep it anywhere it remains the same okay either it is kept in a bowl either it is kept in a box its shape remains the same it means it has fixed shape okay now the volume volume means the space occupied by an object is volume so it occupies the same space in each container okay either you keep it in a bowl in a box or anywhere it occupies the same space it means that solids have fixed volume too okay the next property compressible or not so students if i try to compress it oh it is not possible so compressible means i am not able to compress this wooden block so it is not compressible okay next is can flow have you ever seen any solid thing flowing like water 
water or air? No. So solids cannot flow. Okay. Solids cannot flow. So we will write here the first word. Shape. Yes. It has fixed shape. Volume. It has fixed volume. Compressible. No. Solids are not compressible. Can flow or not? No. Solids do not flow. Okay. The next is liquids. Now we will take examples of liquid. The water in this bottle is liquid. The juices we drink is a liquid, uh, are liquids. Uh, the blood flowing in your body, in your body is also a liquid. The oil etc etc. There are many more examples you can find. Them. Okay. So students all these things are liquids. These examples which I have given just. So students the water is filled with water. Uh, the bottle is filled with water. If I pour this water in another container, in a bowl or in another bottle which is of different shape. So what, which is of another shape or different shape. What will happen? The water will take the shape of that bottle or that bowl or that container. It means it has no fixed shape. Okay. Wherever it is kept, it takes the shape of that vessel or container. So, it has fixed shape or not? No, it doesn't have fixed shape. Or we can say liquids do not have fixed shape. Second is uh, volume. Volume is the space occupied by what uh, any object is volume as I told you. So, this water will occupy the same space in another container or the vessel too. It means that the volume of liquid is fixed. Liquids uh, occupy the same space as it is in this bottle. If it is uh, 1 liter, it takes the space of 1 liter in another vessel too. The next is compressible or not? If I compress this bottle or squeeze this bottle, I am not uh, squeezing the water. The air upside this water you can see, it is not completely filled. So, the air above the water getting compressed. When I compress it, it is getting compressed. The water is not compressible. So, liquids are not compressible. The next is can flow or not. So students, liquids can flow. Okay, they flow from a higher level to a lower level. So we'll write here, yes. Okay, here shape is fixed, not fixed. In liquids, volume is fixed. Shape is not fixed, volume is fixed. Compressible. No. Can they flow? Yes, they can flow from a higher level to a lower level. Okay. The next is gases. So students, the air around us is a gas. As we can feel the air. Okay. So we will take an example of this balloon. Can you tell me what is inside this balloon? Yes, there is air inside this balloon. Okay, and as uh, you must have seen different uh, shapes of different uh, balloons of different shapes, and the air is filled inside. Means the air has not fixed shape. Gases do not have fixed shape. Yes, so here we write not fixed. The shape of gases again uh, not fixed. Okay. The next is volume. Volume, uh, if I try to fill this balloon, uh, if I try to fill more air in this balloon, yes it is possible. Means the volume of gases is also not fixed as gas can spread all over. Okay. The small bottle of perfume is kept in small bottle. 
yes the perfume is kept in small bottle but when we uh, the when it spreads as gas in the atmosphere it spreads all over yes so the volume of gas is not fixed and right here not fixed okay compressible or not as you can see here i am able to compress this gas easily so the gases are highly compressible okay so right here yes gases are highly compressible the last one is can flow or not so students when any incense stick is burnt in a room agarbatti must have seen if it is burnt in any room what happens its smell spreads all over yes so means that gas is flowing in all the directions in each corner of the room you can smell uh, that incense stick so gases flow in all directions okay so they can flow right here okay so students these are the properties of solids liquids and gases so now i hope this topic you must have understood in the next video we will discuss about the next topic of your lesson okay so till then you take care of yourself keep studying keep exploring all the best